What's up everybody? We are headed out to round three of the Moore Series in Hughesville, Missouri, the Hoodell Ridge Race. Um, it's going to be a hot one today. It's already almost 85 degrees and it's not even quite 10 o'clock yet. Being the Moore Series, that means we have two days of racing, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so make sure you stick around to the later part of the video for the second day of racing. Thanks. Alright, enough of looking at that ugly guy. Let's get into some racing. I was able to get off the line pretty good and I was mid-pack going to the first turn. I was being a little aggressive going to the third. I went down, but I was able to manage to hold on to third going to the third. This big sweeper was a lot of fun, especially on Sunday. It got pretty dang rough, but you could definitely carry some speed up it. Third going into the creek, and I wanted to start making up some spots, so I was able to get a pretty good pass here going into the first part of the creek, which put me in second. A lot of people were overshooting this turn coming up. Uh, I wasn't able to quite make a move here, but I ended up getting them later on. At the end of the first lap, I stayed in second for the whole first lap, and but I was only one second behind first. But Something I've really started to learn uh, over this last year of racing is the inside line that might look fast isn't always the best. I tried to hop over the log and gain some time on them, but it just kind of backfired and I lost some time. I ended up catching back up to him down here. Here in a second, you're going to hear somebody come up behind me and rev. Uh, I thought it was somebody in our class. People have kind of had a habit of doing that this year, even if they're in the same class as you. So, Chad ended up letting him go by, and I went around with him because I thought they were in our class, but come to find out, I was wrong. There's no way they aren't in our class. So thinking the guy that was revving at us was in our class, I just tried to run and put a gap between me and him, but he was just right on me the whole time. Which, come to find out, it was Wyatt Bone Cutter, which is a double A racer, and he was on racing the vintage bus, so he started a row or two behind me, and he caught up to us pretty quick. for a while thinking that he was in our class but once we got to a little bit of an open stretch I realized that he wasn't and so he ended up getting around me and calling. After why I got around me, I just kind of tried to cruise for the rest of the race. Um, then we got into the last lap, and someone caught me, and I wasn't really sure who it was. What class are you in? And hollering, trying to figure out what class he was in. Uh, it ended up being Chad Laramore. He, he ended up getting second in our class for the day. What class are you in? What? Pro? Oh, yours. Oh, in hindsight, I should have known better than to let him around. But I was just hot and kind of confused. 
Um, so once I realized that he was in my class, I took right onto the back of him and tried to get around him for the rest of the lap. So Chad ends up making a little bobble up here, and I'm still not, at this point, 100% sure if he is in my class or not. Um, so I throw a question out there and then just decide to go on. Are you in my class or not? Alright, so here we are coming into the finish line on the Saturday race. Everybody. We are out at the Sunday race now. I ended up winning the Saturday and intermediate um, So this morning I'm out getting some video of the morning race and then uh, we'll get some onboard footage of me on the afternoon After watching the morning race, it's my turn now. I was able to get off the line great, pull the whole shot, and from then on out, I just tried to put as much distance between me and everybody else as possible. Sunday races have really been kind of my strong suit. I don't know why. I don't know if being sore from the day before just loosened me up and allowed me to ride better, but uh, I just had another really good day racing. This creek was a blast and it was nice to get a nice little splash of water every lap coming through. video you guys might remember Mr. Eric Altman. Uh, I caught up to him, he raced a vet class and so this is about the third lap I think I ended up catching up to him. He turns around and sees me and he just absolutely takes him off and I have to chase him down for another lap and a half or so before I ever get a chance to get around him. being super fast and fun and flowy which made for a lot of good racing especially going back and forth with buddy like me and Eric. So I finally found a little bit of an opportunity to get around Eric. He went wide into the mud and I cut inside and was able to get around. 
I uh, just tried to run away from him from then on out. He ended up catching me last lap because I uh, found a tree pretty good and bent my front rim and sweep the front end pretty good. And this is where this weekend's video comes to an end. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe my channel and share it. Um, I had a ton of fun. I ended up winning the Sunday race as well. And thank you guys.